this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a re review for uh, Kick-Ass 3, Issue 4. And before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a little update. Um, of course, I have some exclusive comics for Comic Uno Episode 20, and that is the show where I review all the comics I did this week, I read this week in one show. Here are the exclusive comics. Um, Scarlet Spider, Issue 23. Small Bill, Special, Issue 3. Uh, Powerpuff Girls, Issue 2. Uh, Green Lantern Annual Issue 2, and Teen Titans Annual Issue 2. So if you want to go check out those reviews, go to Comic in Episode 20. But let's talk about Kick-Ass 3, Issue 4. I think there's uh, three issues left of Kick-Ass 3, and let's see if this was epic enough for it uh, to end. <laughs> uh, so let's talk about the cover. The cover is pretty generic. We get to see um, that the Justice of Forever are fighting each other. So there's some Civil War going here, which is kind of cool, and they actually make a reference to that. Uh, so we get a Civil War with the Just League, uh, a Justice Forever team. Uh, so cool cover. Let's see what's going on. Oh yeah, real life Civil War, and you notice they said that there. Alright, so let's see what's going on with the story. Um, so we do get to see a little bit of um, Red Miss's uncle, you know, the one who runs the mob, pretty much, or their section of the mob. And uh, he's having some trouble with his uh, crew. Um, his crew's not liking him anymore. And I'll tell you in the end, we, we find out that they want to dress up as superheroes to uh, pretty much kill the uncle. And uh, I guess take over the gang, because the uncle wants to collide with other gangs and they don't agree with that. They hate seeing that their friends are being killed by him, so they're like, oh, let's just go against him. So we get to see that with with, um, I guess Red Miss's story, uh, because this is his uncle. Uh, and then we have the Civil War story with, uh, Kick-Ass. Um, he's getting fed up with this one guy who really does nothing, and a lot of the Justice Forever people do nothing. So he makes him, uh, get fired off the Justice Forever, and now everyone's angry at, um, Kick-Ass that because he fired him. It's like, oh, that wasn't cool, man. So now everyone's angry at him. So it's kind of like the Civil War for them, because there's one guy who wanted something, I guess, be lazy, and... Be, get the perks, but so be lazy. And then Kick-Ass actually wants to do something. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of like Kick-Ass-defied uh, Civil War. Uh, and again, people are getting angry at Kick-Ass and people are leaving the team because of it. And then we get to see a little bit of the romance with that red-headed girl that he met a couple issues ago. And it seems like things are going well with that department, which is really cool. I like seeing uh, Dave at least a little happy. Uh, and then we see Hit Girl. She's in jail again. They caught her. She didn't run away. Uh, and then they threatened her mom, I think, and said, oh, well, we'll get your mom to see you. It's like, no, don't see my mom. I, I don't do that. And, of course, we have Pick Girl saying all the dirty words she wants to say. And, um, yeah, so Hit Girl, obviously that's her weak spot, is her mother. And we'll see what the jail does uh, about that. And we'll see me, the mother, will f I don't know if the mother knows that she's Hit Girl. I guess she does now. So it'll be interesting to see them, each other, uh, confront each other. And that's what happens. Um, honestly... For in a uh, last uh, series, I guess for Kick Ass, this was very lackluster. Um, it is a very filler issue, I would say. There's nothing that big, and really, there hasn't been much big with Kick Ass story at all yet. There's a lot of slow parts, um, especially because Hit Girl's hardly in this series. We have that one scene, which again, that was probably like the best scene of this. Uh, of this issue, maybe the last scene of this, which wasn't so, oh my god, that's happening, someone's dressing up as a superhero. Um, you know, that's also like, oh, it's a cool cliffhanger, cliffhanger, but it's not cool for the last series, the last part of the trilogy. There has to be epicness for that. Um, and so far, this is probably the least epic of the Kick-Ass series. Even Kick-Ass 2 started to pick up after issue 4. You know, the beginning was a little um, lackluster, but then it started picking up, especially with that final battle with Red Mist. Uh, but with this, it's just very, very lackluster for me, and the art was okay, you know, I'm not a big fan of John Romita Jr., but it fits for Kick-Ass, but then, you know, you see, like, uh, the mobster scenes, like, the, the lines on their faces just don't fit. Like, Kick-Ass looks really good, but then normal people don't look so great, and it does look a little bulgy to me. Uh, but again, you get used to it, because it is Kick-Ass art, it, it mostly fits with it, but then there's some people that don't look as great in the series. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm happy to see uh, Dave is happy with the girl. I'm glad that she's not, um, so far, not um, going against Kick-Ass. Like, a lot of us predicted, it's like, oh, this must be a trick or something. But he's actually happy, which maybe in the end we'll see him have a normal life, because it seems like his normal life is doing better than his Kick-Ass life. 
Uh, but yeah, it's okay issue. I'm gonna give it three stars. I, I was kind of disappointed with this because we wait so long for Kick Ass because it's always delayed, and now we have a lackluster issue like this. So I'm gonna give it three stars. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't epic either. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is uh, Comic Uno, and guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the Rant Situations, and don't forget to like my Facebook page. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.